Joining us now, Congressman Jeff Van Drew from House Homeland Security. It's great to have you on, sir. Why did the White House launch this new Ministry of Disinformation at Homeland Security? That's a law enforcement agency designed to police the U.S. You know, here's the thing. This feels like a colossal waste of time. The courts decide free speech, not Democrat bureaucrats. Well, it, it is a colossal waste of time. But you know what really concerns me? It's, it's worse than that. It almost reminds me of a, a Russian disinformation center. You know what's ironic about this is the real purveyors of misinformation have been Nancy Pelosi and President Biden and Mayorkas. I mean, Mayorkas was before our committee this week as he was before a few committees, claimed there was nothing really wrong that was occurring at the border, uh, didn't really tell the truth about so many of the issues that deal with the border and the problems they're having there. The president himself continually gives out misinformation, continually lies, to be honest with you. Um, and we have the same thing with Nancy Pelosi. So they are the purveyors of misinformation. This is deeper than that. I think this is something of concern. This reminds me of other countries that don't want to allow freedom. And so I think this particular board, what they're going to want to do is those that are more conservative or more moderate or those that want to speak out in opposition to this administration, they're going to really try to squelch them because they're concerned now that maybe some opening is going to occur, you know, as far as freedom of speech, because we see what happened with Twitter and, you know, maybe there'll be some other areas where we'll open up things more. They're trying to really squeeze it down, hammer us down and do everything they can to make sure that the truth doesn't come out before this election. Yeah, the intolerant in, the intolerant, tolerant Democrats, right? They're in full career right now with the way they're behaving, with their bullying. It's We know this. It's run by a woman who's dismissed and supported censorship of Hunter Biden's laptop. What Hunter Biden has admitted he's under federal investigation. The New York Times and Washington Post have corroborated emails on that laptop. Nina Jankowicz tells the Associated Press we should view that laptop as a Trump campaign product. Said, quote, I shudder to think about free speech if absolute, absolutist takes over. And now she's doing videos of these cringeworthy sing-alongs. Watch this. Information laundering is really quite ferocious It's when a huckster takes some lies and makes them sound precocious By saying them in Congress or a mainstream outlet So disinformation's origins are slightly less atrocious You know what, sit tight, Congress. We want to show this Let's watch the rest of what the rest of the administration has been saying When it comes to disinformation Let's watch this well, I don't have any comments on the laptop, but what I can tell you is that it sounds like the objective of the board is to prevent disinformation and misinformation from traveling around the country in a range of communities. I'm not sure who opposes that effort. What is your view on why the economy shrunk 1.4 percent during the first quarter? On exports, the number was down, but that is largely because our economy is doing better than many economies around the world. We have a number of different offices engaged in this critical effort, we have effectively managed an unprecedented number of non-citizens seeking to enter the United States. Uh, there was all sorts of disinformation right in those clips. First of Absolutely. all, no mention, no mention from Jen Psaki about the disinformation that Hunter Biden's laptop was Russian disinformation, 50 intelligence officials. That was, they said in the footnote to that, that was speculation, right? But you, everything exactly. we just showed, yeah, everything we just showed was misinformation. Go ahead. The, the, the people who are controlling this literal new board that they're going to have are the people who are most responsible for disinforming the American public on a regular basis. And that lets you know that they want to continue to do that with authority and that they want to continue to do that because a there's an election coming up and b there's been so much lying going on so much misinformation i mean all the way back to covid as i said all the way discussing the border and mayorkas just looks you straight in the face i mean you know a couple of us did i know i did that day i literally just out of anger actually slammed my hand down on the desk and i said you should resign now i twice i've said to him he should resign now and he should i mean he's looking at elected officials congress people that are trying to find out what the truth is and just bold-faced lies to them well, and, it, and this is what's going on. And people well, are, meant feels, to, are told that this is what the truth is, and it's not. It's precisely the opposite. 
So when you see an individual like Mayorkas do that, and you watch him in action, what is his agenda? Well, I, I guess to please the president, I mean, what he should do if he's being being told by the president or somebody else, because I don't think the president controls a lot of this. I, You know, not to get to the real big picture real quickly, but, you know, there are a lot of people in this world who resent America, a lot of billionaires, a lot of big corporations, a lot of the uh, woke celebrities that don't want to see the America that we know and love continue into the future. That's for real. That's not made up. And this is all part of a pattern that you really see. We've got some bad folks that are in the bowels of government like Mayorkas that are doing really bad things to, and are going to really hurt the future of the country. I will tell you now, I say it every day, we are on the precipice. We are on the edge. If we're not careful, we're going to lose our country. We better win in November. And when we win, we better not have any circular firing squads. We better do a damn good job because we've got to save this America that we know. Congressman Van Drew, thanks for joining us. Come back soon.